picture? Can they take out some of the sexual aggressiveness? Oh, I guess they could, but I say that family branch dies off quickly. Whereas the other ones that do not take that out will continue to spread. Uh, anyway, so yeah, that was a hiccup there. It was kind of a weird hiccup I had. The escapist forums, uh, uh, yeah, it, this is a thing about a guy staring too much. So I, I'm gonna I'm gonna share this as well. Uh, and they really went to war on, on this. So I'm sharing on the Facebook announcement for the show, Facebook.com/slash/TruthOnTapShow. Check it out, Escapist Magazine, uh, and it's a poll. Don't look at me when I dress provocatively. Is kind of the poll, uh, and you'll you'll be interested to see the results of this poll. Uh, not what you would expect. Uh, I will say that the highest percentage, 36.1%, when talking about the guy staring at women with skimpy clothes on, say, not really, this wouldn't be a problem if the genders were switched. When asked, is he wrong for staring? So think about that. Most people are saying if you switch the male to the female, then there wouldn't be a problem. So what does that tell you? I'm going to let you figure that out. That'll be your homework assignment. Uh, if you're not shy, yeah. Uh, I'll tell you something. I'm going to go ahead and admit something real quick. Back in my single uh, rock and roll days, I liked it when a woman flirted with me. Um, if she was actually coming on to me, I found that incredibly flattering. Because I was the type of guy who, I guess you could say I was shy, I didn't tend to pursue uh, women. I waited until they gave me some kind of sign that they were interested. Maybe I just feared rejection. I don't know. But once I got that sign, then I was okay. Then I might go forward with it. But I was always, and some guys say, oh, no, that means she's a whore if she comes on to you. I never felt that way. I just didn't. I just found it very flattering because as long as she can tell you what it is she likes about you rather than say, oh, you're a guy and you're here, uh, you know, I'm six foot five. My height always worked to my advantage. I'm tall, dark, and reportedly by some handsome. So I got some extra attention over my friends. I had friends that would go out with me, and I know why they were doing it. They were hoping to connect through what I had to offer. I don't care about that. I'm not, that's not my ego. That's just looking at nature and how it works, the structure. I see where I fit in, you know. Uh, now, shit, I'm, I'm not a whole lot to look at. Uh, but it's funny because what you want in a partner when you pass 40 changes. Changes. The physical's still there, yes, but there's so much more. There's so much more. Personalities have to mesh because your tolerance is the reverse pyramid. It goes down and down and down, your tolerance. You know what you like. You know what you don't like. And if you don't have someone that can cooperate well or integrate well with your personality type, then you're not going to make it. Period. You're not going to make it. All right. Well, there's Barco spamming the chat room again, but I'm not letting you bother me, Barco. Sorry. Uh, you, you bothered me before, but uh, and I got all mad about it. I won't do that again. You can go ahead and spam the chat room. And that's all I'm going to say about that. Mandy says, what anyone wants in a partner, especially women with no self-esteem, is someone who's going to leave them regardless and not ever leave like their fathers have. Okay. I, I can understand that. People with daddy issues want a... Well, it, let me say this real quick before I go. Women have a lot more to lose, and they therefore have more of an investment when they're checking out a man. All right. The man's thinking, I want to hit that. The woman's thinking, can he take care of himself? Will he be around can he provide some defense for our home area? These are in, uh, inborn behaviors, hardwired behaviors in women's thinking. They're looking at, uh, you know, personality. They're looking at a lot more than men are looking at because they have something to lose. They know that they're going to be raising a child potentially with this mate, and they got to know what they're getting into. That's why women move a little slower than men on these things, okay, typically. Uh, so it's important to realize that women have a lot more to lose and therefore have a more careful investment to make when they're getting involved with a man than a man does a woman. 
And again, the man with a woman is kind of like a machine gun cock. He's looking to shoot everything. That's the basic nature. Then you have the civilized layer on top of that. Most of us are able to be faithful to our women. Uh, I know for certain that I am. Uh, something like, they've done some polls, something like 47% of people say they've cheated on their current partner. Uh, that That's just not something that's going to happen with me and my current. Uh, but it did happen with my ex-wife, who was, I don't, I don't know how else to put it, she was a whore. Uh, if you had something, she'd take it, you know, stick it in. Yeah, and uh, that's just the way she was, and I'm sure that doesn't change. I can't see somebody finding Jesus in the middle of all that, uh, although she may be screaming his name, uh, you know, just so she doesn't get the guy's name wrong, since there's so many guys. You don't want to, you know, Jesus, Jesus, that's the safest thing to do. Okay, well, I've been rambling a bit. Listen, thank you guys for listening to this program. If you're listening on iHeart, I would like you to come back over to Spreaker the next time I do a show. So please like the Facebook page, facebook.com slash truth on tap show. I would like you to listen to the show through Spreaker so you can interact with my people in chat and with me. We'll have phone lines up again not too long from now. I have reduced the frequency of my shows to increase the quality of my shows. And that's what we're going to do. I'm not going to play any songs on the way out. I'm going to play a quick outro, if you will. And uh, that will be Ed and Al and then the Truth on Tap commercial. And since that is that, here goes. Hey everyone, this is Grandpa Al Krushko from the Southern Cowboy Grandpa Al One Voice Network, inviting you to tune in for chat, rants, raves, and vents, along with thoughts and comments from special guests and some great music to help ease the pain until your next therapy session. That's 2 p.m. Central Time, Saturday Rants, and Sunday Brunch with Ed and Al, right here on Spreaker, Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube.com. Truth on Tap is now flowing from iHeartRadio. Get your Kirstead fix by Googling Truth on Tap with Kevin A. Kirstead. All the truth you can handle running hot on iHeart, Facebook, Spreaker, and more. You want the truth? You can't handle the truth on Tap.